From the First Coast News Weather Team, certified by Weather Rate, sponsored by AC Designs. Was well, certainly quite the stormy afternoon here around the First Coast, but we've got our eyes peeled towards the Caribbean, specifically near Cuba. Hurricane hunters were out there earlier today surveying the potential tropical cyclone that it will be headed into the Gulf of Mexico here over the next really 36 hours or so, and we are potentially expecting a named storm, which would be called Debbie by tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening at the latest. So here is the latest 5 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center on a potential tropical cyclone four. that center of circulation still hovering right over central Cuba here for the time being, like I mentioned, will likely become a tropical depression by tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then that is when things kind of start to get a little bit dicey on where exactly this thing is going to track along Florida's Gulf Coast. Now, the good news, because it is on the Gulf side, our storm, storm surge will be very minimum, and the worst of the winds will also be along the Gulf Coast. So our Atlantic Coast and the First Coast here specifically, not too concerned about that, but we will certainly see a lot of heavy rain and a potential tornado risk isolated at that but still a concern as we do head into the end of the weekend and even into next week. So here's another way to look at it. Some spaghetti plots, some models trying to show a couple different paths that this storm could take. If it takes a more eastern track that kind of makes landfall between Fort Myers and Tampa, that would bring in a much weaker storm and would likely move it through much quicker. Now, if it slides just a couple miles west, we're really 50 to 100 miles west, that could allow it to strengthen over those very warm Gulf Ocean waters and could potentially allow it to linger around a little bit longer here along the first coast. So here's kind of what we're looking at in a nutshell. Light rain will likely start early Sunday morning as this thing starts to move in from the southwest. Those rains and those thunderstorms will continue to increase throughout the afternoon and evening, especially overnight Sunday night and into early Monday morning. That's when you could see some localized flooding four to six inches potentially and our highest risk of an isolated tornado will be Sunday evening and overnight and into early Monday morning. So make sure you have multiple ways to receive those watches and warnings. Overall wind threat though, only gonna be about 40, maybe 45 mile per hour wind gusts at most for our coastal areas. But the rain really could be a concern. Again, I mentioned about four to six inches with locally higher amounts in some spots. So we will continue to track this thing very, very closely over the next several days. But if you're just concerned about tomorrow, Mostly sunny skies through the first half of your day. We will see a few isolated thunderstorms by the afternoon. That sea breeze kicks on in about 1 to 2 o'clock along that I-95 corridor. Most of the storms, though, will push inland by dinner time tomorrow night. So the majority of your Saturday evening should be dry out there for you. And then come Sunday, that's when the rain and the storms roll on through. So we have issued a weather impact alert for Sunday afternoon and evening, continuing into Monday morning with that tropical rain finally moving out then by about Monday afternoon.